to the beginner guide to Gyaru video series. The series is going to be explaining everything about Gyaru, including the history of Gyaru, different sub-styles of Gyaru, and different makeup techniques and hair techniques, and even some inspiration from some older Gyaru who have been around for quite a while. So for those of you who don't know what Gyaru is, a short answer is just that it is a rebellious Japanese fashion style. Typically it's known for having very dramatic makeup, very dramatic hair. The long answer will be in the next video, and I'll have a link for it in the description box below. In that video, we're going to go more in depth into the history of the fashion and how it evolved throughout the years and how it became what it is today. So in this series, we're going to have quite a few sections. The first section is going to be all about substyles. There are different types of gyaru and each of them kind of follow not really rules, but sort of guidelines and we'll kind of cover that. The next section is going to be all about makeup, which is such a huge part of Gyaru. It's almost safe to say that makeup is what makes Gyaru, makeup and hair. Yeah, so that section we're going to be covering all about how to do makeup, what kind of makeup would suit your personal face. We have a huge panel of people who are going to be speaking. We'll give you kind of a run through of what we do. And the next section is going to be all about hair. And hair is also a very important thing within the Gyaru style. So we're going to cover all sorts of hair techniques and hair products and some hair trends that have come in and out of Gyaru fashion. The next section is going to be all about beginners and sort of advice that we can give you that maybe we would have liked to have heard but we didn't and maybe we can pass it on to you so that way you can learn from our mistakes and you don't have to make them. And the final section is going to be Gaijin Gyaru inspiration. And this section is going to include some guest appearances from gals who have been in the community for a very long time and who definitely know what they're talking about. They've done Gal from pretty much the start and have definitely inspired and helped to create the Gaijin Gyaru community as it is today. But before we get into all of that, let's do some introductions. My name is Heather, I'm 19 years old, I'm from California and I've been doing Gyaru for about three and a half years right now. My favorite substyle to wear is Amikaji. I found out about Gyaru in 2010 when I had very randomly picked up a Ranzuki magazine and that's pretty much how it all started. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Lizzie and I'm 21 years old from the UK. I've been interested in Gao for a few years now. Um, I think it's around four or five years. Um, I just found it while Googling Japanese fashion and I just loved how it was so outgoing and dramatic. And yeah, so this happened. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Remy. I am 20 years old. Um, I've been doing Gao, specifically Oni Kiaru and Sui Kiaru, for about, I want to say a year. I've known about the style for quite a while. I've known about the style since I was probably um, 12, 13. I love it. I'm not specifically within the community. I do my own thing. I don't care. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy my sections, and that's all. Bye, guys. My name is Motoko Mori, and I'm from Norway, Oslo, the capital. I've been doing uh, Gyaru for about two years now. And if I do meddle in substyles, it's just slightly broken. I found out about uh, Gyaru in 2012, I think. Actually, I didn't know what it was when I first found out. Uh, I found an uh, egg magazine at my local Japanese merchandise store. It was Eggs Beauty, uh, the spring 2011 edition. And it was on sale and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Let's try something new. Got home and I started reading up on it and I was like, oh my god, look at this. And I was so fascinated by the big eyes and the circle lenses and everything, really. Hello, YouTube. Um, my name is Sheen. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Canada. I've been into Gal now for about five years, but I've only been dressing and actively participating in the community now for about three years. I do mainly Roku and Gothic Gyaru. And how I found out about Gal actually was through a random online Google search when I was like 16, I was looking up Japanese makeup tutorials and I came across an issue of Ageha and I found a makeup tutorial by Sakurina and I tried it and I failed because I didn't have lashes or lenses and it was awful. But essentially it piqued my interest and it really got me into the whole idea of Gal and made me really research it. So. Yeah, and now here I am five years later, 
all galled up. So, yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Tia, I'm 21 years old and I'm from California. The subtitle of Gyaru that I mainly cling to is Mamba, but I also like to do um, styles and I follow trends that are more with the heavily tanned, um, darker Gyaru. So I've been doing Gal probably for, uh, I never know, um, since I was about 13 or 14, so it's been quite a long time. Um, when I first started doing Gal, the main term that we used to describe girls under the age of 15 was still Mago Gyaru, which a lot of you, if you're a beginner and you have no clue what I'm talking about, that's totally fine because it's a really old term and don't worry about it. <laughs> when I first found out about um, Gyaru, I was browsing DeviantArt. My brother had told me about it because he's an artist. And the first time that I saw it, I was kind of like freaked out and just like a little bit disgusted by it. And then I remember going back and looking at it like a few months later and just being amazed and wanting to know more. Um, and it just kind of took off from there. Hey everybody, um, my name is Maxine, but you can say Max since that's a lot easier. I'm 17 and I'm from the Netherlands and I have um, been into Gyaru for about two years now. I haven't really kept track so I wouldn't know, but I think about two or three years. and. I found out about Gyaru through the manga Gals um, by Mihona Fuji and it was actually my first uh, pocket manga I ever bought but in Belgium and I really loved it so much like the clothes, the freedom, the fun they had and um... then I went onto YouTube to check out the anime and then I saw videos of actual real Gyaru and that's how I got into the style. Hi, I'm Christina, I'm from the Netherlands, I'm 17 years old I've been into Gyari for like one and a half years already. Uh, I started when I was 15, I think, and I got to know about Gyaru because I was researching Lolita and I found Hime Gyaru. When I researched Hime Gyaru, I came to find this wonderful world. <laughs> So now that you've met everyone, I do want to mention that I do plan on leaving this video series open. Since this series is going to be left open, there might be videos that will be added continually to the playlist, so be sure to check the playlist, which I will put down below. Definitely check any of the links that I leave in the description box of any of the videos, because there will always be additional information, tutorials, links, anything that can help you. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, and be sure to check out the rest of this playlist, which I will, again, have linked below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!